<laughs> I don't like being here. I know, I'm having anxiety. Spirit Halloween is a seasonal store for the Halloween season. They have decorations, accessories, costumes, and just a bunch of other scary stuff. Spirit Halloween slogan is so much fun, it's scary. And that really resonates with me because that is a lot of life. A week ago, we were like celebrating Lucas's birthday and I was kind of thinking throughout moments of the day like, this is so much fun, it is scary. Oh, it could cross over to being too much fun. Yeah, because I don't know what happens when you have too much fun. They take over vacant retail spaces and turn them into Spirit Halloween. We went to one today and it was taking over a Hobby Lobby. That is actually iconic that they took over a Hobby Lobby. Cause like before it was all happy, just Pinterest energy and now it's just straight up satanic. But what I don't get is, um, has Spirit Halloween been around forever? There's always just been these giant buildings that are abandoned that they can rent out each year. Yeah, it was created in 1983 by this guy named Joseph Malvo. If you do the math, it's actually the 40th anniversary. Congratulations. Oh my god. A lot of marriages get divorced after like five years, I'm assuming. I mean, they've been going strong. Yeah, and they've never had a dry spell, I guess. That is something to be commended. Anyways, this guy named Joseph Marvel grew Spirit Halloween to 60 locations before it was bought out by sponsors. Spirit Halloween being owned by sponsors makes so much sense to me. Yeah, they have such a similar energy. They're both kind of like on the deep depths of society. Present day, they have over a thousand Spirit Halloween seasonal locations. I don't know exactly how many because some blogs were saying they have over 1,400 and then some said over 1,100. So I'll just say over a thousand locations. But yeah, to answer your question from like five minutes ago, um, I guess there's always just been empty retail locations that they can put these Spirit Halloweens in. Even the strip mall the Spirit Halloween was in right next to it was an abandoned subway. So like they could also take that over and make a little Spirit Halloween sandwich sandwich shop, temporary. These Spirit Halloween locations usually open from the beginning to mid-August and they close a few days after Halloween. This Spirit Halloween that we were going to was busy. People were bringing their families, just having a jolly old time. It really was bringing the community together. This was mm -hmm. a version of church for the com community that we live in. Everyone who was anyone was there. You could tell people were going to be seen. Right when you walk in, you just get spooked. There's like things popping out at you. Wow. It's a, it, it's a lot. Okay, you guys can't see it, but there's like a demon talking to me right now. <laughs> That's scary. I know even how they don't even bother to clean the floors from the previous store or whatever. Like there's just smudges everywhere, dirt, and it, it adds to the vibe that you're in this little dungeon. We heard so many kids crying because people would bring their kids and then their kids would be walking around and then randomly like one of those Halloween props would say, ah! and, and then the kid would start crying. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I've already seen it so many times. <laughs> I kind of felt bad for these kids, but um, at the same time, like, they'll get over it. Yeah, we were witnessing trauma being built. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> we were walking around all like the little attractions because like they literally do have basically a like not a haunted house but like you could kind of say like a little sh haunted it house. a little mini one. We were kind of jealous because we kept s seeing people being scared and like things popping out at people and we were thinking like wait why isn't that happening to us? So then we tried like touching the buttons and like fiddling around with them to, so they'd pop out at us and make noises. Nothing was seeming to work. Then I think you finally realized. I watch somebody do it, and there's a little footprint you put your foot on, and then it activates the device. Are you over it? Yeah, it's not doing anything. I would say the best thing they had at this Spirit Halloween was that little red demon that oh, like the devil. pops up. Yeah. The flying devil. Like that is actually so cool. It almost hit me. They had 
a Wikipedia, like a Wikipedia book. And I just randomly opened up the book and I read a paragraph that said, if you aren't an animal lover, unfortunately you most likely aren't a witch. So I had to break it to Jacob because Jacob doesn't hate animals, but you just, you aren't really connected to animals as much as animal lovers. So I felt bad, but I had to let you know like, you aren't a witch. No, it, it did feel like a diss, but I didn't want to come off that way, you know? But then I was thinking, maybe I'm not a witch. I'm a wizard. No, you could be, there's so many other things. <laughs> yeah. You could be a goblin, gargoyle, a yeah. psychic, a, a exorcism, a priest. Don't, priests are low-key do magic because they do exorcisms. Okay, so who invented pigs being scary? That's a pig, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like people just make everything scary because there was another pig later in the store. I don't know, I feel like there's a deeper meaning to why people make pigs scary. Yeah, they just give the vibe that they were probably used in like satanic rituals or something. I'm excited to be scared. <laughs> doing it for me. <laughs> I guess I get it's scary, but like it just isn't enough. I, I, view it, I honestly view it as more chic. Of course. Spirit Halloween needed a scary baby section. Honestly, the most horrifying section of the whole store. There's a baby eating a hand. I didn't want to look at it. Babies are just scary, let's all admit it. <laughs> because <laughs> it just sucks because like then when someone that you're close to has a baby, like you want to hold it and stuff, but then in the back of your mind, like, yeah, he's so scared. I know, like they're like, you want to hold my kid and like the whole time you're shaking and crying, because like, you're like, I know this baby's possessed. There was like a little Ouija section as for Halloween even. And like, I always hear people say like, don't mess with Ouija boards. I know, people say scary stuff. They say, once you open up the door, you can never close it. Like stuff like that actually does scare me. And it's scary because I have played a Ouija board. It's like, you played an actual one. Yeah, I think from Walmart back in the day. And what's the day of the circus without a balloon? <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> there was an I Love Spells book, and it was like $22, and uh, I just didn't want to spend the money to buy it. But um, I just uh, took a video of this one spell I wanted to do. Just to be honest, you took a photo of every single page. How to attract instant good luck. Whenever you need good luck fast. I mean, I actually don't really feel like I need good luck like really fast, but I mean, it's always good to have good luck. Set the timer to a minute and say very fast, good luck hoy, good luck scoy, to my door more and more. Okay, ready, set. Good, good luck, luck hurry, hurry, good, good luck, luck scurry, to my door more and more. Good, good luck, luck hurry, good, good luck scurry, to my door more and more. Good luck hurry, good luck scurry. I felt so long, that was just a minute. That's what I was just about to say. Before anyone knocks people for doing spells and say like, that's just a lazy way to achieve success. Like it felt like we were doing work I mean, No, just it's not even over yet. Set it for two minutes and say the words even faster as many times as possible before the time wall. Okay, so we need to do it even faster now. Good, good luck hurry, good, good luck scurry to my door more and more. Good luck hurry, good luck scurry to my door more and more. Good luck hurry, good luck scurry to my door more and more. I was building up saliva. I know, same. It's not over, I have to do three minutes even faster. Okay, okay, let's do it. Good luck, hurry, good luck, scurry, to my door, more and more. Good luck, hurry, good luck, scurry, to my door, more and more. Good luck, hurry, good luck, scurry, to my door, more and more. Good luck, hurry, good luck, scurry, to my door, more and more. Good luck, hurry, good luck, scurry, to my door, more and more. How did that go as a hit look up? End by saying three by three, say it. Three, three by three, three good, good fortune, fortune hurries. Three, three by three, three good fortune scurries to my door more and more. I just feel like I got beat up. <laughs> well, that was fun. Well, I'm ready for the good luck. <laughs> I would say 80% of Spirit Halloween is of course costumes. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> My honorable mention is this pumpkin shirt costume. I just felt like you guys needed to see it for how low effort it is, you know? I just picture this as a guy who got dragged to a Halloween festivity by his girlfriend or twink boyfriend and he just wasn't into it. And he really wants to let everyone know like, yeah, I'm not really into dressing up, but I ended up just wearing this. I guess I'm a pumpkin person, you know? Do you know who would wear this? A crypto guy. Oh, 100%. Because they're too focused on their Bitcoin wallet. You know, they, they don't want to put up into an outfit because they'd rather find out what Litecoin's doing. Mine is an outfit called the Kanbot Cutie outfit. I just love how it's like, yeah, I'm in the US Army, but I'm also really sexy. 
But with that being said, I think the people that wear this costume, they wouldn't vibe with me. I feel like most of the people that wear this costume are like really like, they would like beat me up, kind of. Yeah, they wouldn't really view us as people, I think. Yeah, I like, think. Like they would view us more of, oh my god, ha, 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 like do something, like do you have a person stuff, but like they would never want to actually engage deeply. That's literally what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, they would exactly. sort of, they would view us as like a Pomeranian. These outfits are also so funny. These like sexy Norse outfits, because I just picture like this is the whole vibe of them. Oh my gosh, you're having hot pain, Jacob? Okay. Okay, we're going. That's like the whole vibe of this outfit. Yeah, it's the, that's on the directions for the costume, I'm guessing. Sexy priest lady, the the nun that drops it low and no, that's, knows how to bust it open. That's my favorite aisle. Um, the like making fun of Christianity aisle. There was one costume called Blessed Babe. I, I love know, it. Just, it's cute. We were walking through every single aisle and we've no we noticed that some of the um like costumes say 14 plus and then some of them say 15 plus. What changes between 14 and 15 were like you can wear this chain when you're 15 but not 14. Right below this pimp chain there was a pimp cane and that was for 14 plus. Wonder why when you're 14 you can have a pimp cane but you can't get the pimp chain. Is there science behind it? I feel like they this? definitely utilized Stanford science Scientists advised them on how to make the age limits. Like, I actually feel like there's a very intricate formula behind it. We just aren't aware of it. Yeah. As we said earlier, this spirit Halloween is in this huge Hobby Lobby, but they're actually only using like one fourth of the Hobby Lobby. Wait, really? I remember going into this Hobby Lobby when it was open and it's huge. And then we kind of oh. like looked behind the curtains and there's just a bunch of like boxes that are inventory. Oh, so the space was just too big for them, but they don't want it to look too spread out. So they got to just Condense it. Yeah. Spare Halloween is one of the most bipolar places. Cool Summer by Taylor Swift was playing, but whoa, that was playing. There was just these scary decorations doing little screams, chainsaws. It was overstimulation, but I almost feel like there could be a, there's some vibes where you're so overstimulated that it feels good. Mm. This is kind of that to me. While we were looking at the costumes, Lucas kind of brought up how a lot of these costumes are false advertising. There was this pumpkin one, where it was just like a pumpkin dress, and then it showed the lady with a pumpkin purse. And some knee highs and some nice boots. But the only thing that came in the costume package was the dress. Yeah, you have to buy everything else separately. Does this Dorothy wig even come with the ribbons? So this wig is for 14 plus, which I just realized, though this makes sense because probably head size. Once oh. you're 14, your head's big enough, whereas a little eight year old, their head's gonna be a little puny pinhead, you know? Yeah, it wouldn't work. Let's see if Spirit Halloween wigs are clackable. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100% gonna be clackable. Put your thumb on the front. Wait, is your head too big? <laughs> wait. Oh wait, no. Can we shave these off? <laughs> You know, they actually kind of blend in because it's brown. Oh my god, I'm not kidding. All of a sudden when I looked at you, you also didn't give like this like girl vibe. Like it looks like you're like so much more feminine and I'm not kidding. I actually thought like you look pretty. Like it actually is a thing. <laughs> it's something that I've, I've, I've noticed with my face. I don't know. I think this is only with certain people, but I feel like my face can be either gender. This wig like is perfect. Like it just looks like it's shiny. It's laid. <sighs> Wait. And isn't it actually weird? I actually look like one of our sisters or I something. I know, like somehow you turned so feminine. You know who I am, right? I had the first color picture. I'm Judy Garland. Why are you dressed up as Dorothy though? Like that, that was a character if you're Judy Garland. I want to get noticed, honey. That's why I'm on like a day of drive right now. Cause I want to get noticed. Cause I had the first color picture. <laughs> <laughs> so who's giving more? The professional model or Jacob? Who is serving Dorothy the best? Let us know in the comments. All I'm gonna say is, maybe I'm biased, but if I was alive when they were casting, I think I would have been the first, like, cross dress or... Cross-dressing starlet? Yeah. Only thing is that, like, you don't have the dress to go with the wig, but you don't even need the dress. Just wear, like, a blue t-shirt. Yeah, the hair's already letting us know what's going on. I feel like if I just saw you with the hair, I, I think I would know you were playing Dorothy, but I might also think you're playing the Wendy's.
Ring my bell. I don't know what costume this would be used for. Maybe just like a... Devil hottie? <laughs> oh yeah, something like that. <laughs> but we got an extra small corset. Cause I've always had this theory that I'm just so petite. So I wanna know if it's real. Like even my wrist, like I remember in second grade, like everyone was like, you have the smallest wrist. I'm just very like petite and oh, yeah, skinny. Like... Are we both gonna try it on? <laughs> I'm really scared, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Will it fit? So much like an uh, influence person. So, uh, as you guys can see, it's pretty far apart. <laughs> but... <laughs> Wait, is this gonna actually <laughs> think this might break? But should I just keep trying? Oh my god, I'm getting it. It's gonna cinch you so much. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to be so hot. The first one's the hardest, but once you get that done, it just all naturally gets sucked in. Is this the tightest that it can be? It's the loosest, but maybe once this gets all this done, should I try to go even tighter? Yeah. Does this even feel tight? I feel like you wait. can go tighter. Actually, it's kind of, I mean, you can get way more singed. Should I just go for the tightest? Yeah. Oh my, you can fit into extra small. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my Instagram bio. <laughs> Wait, so is this even a real corset? How come you aren't like in pain? I thought it'd be like the Titanic scene. This one is um really stretchy. I don't real corsets like made out of metal and shit. Yeah. Wait, this is this the tightest? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Wait. I get why girls wear this as like a, on its own. It's just as cool. About this corset though, is that I was pitching it to make like my hips. I mean, that's what I it thought. Does, it just I, makes me, it does nothing to I me. I thought it actually was a real corset. I should have known it was just a fake one. Let's see if you can be extra small. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, ow, ow. <laughs> wait, wait, so did you start at the top or the bottom? I did the top first. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. Actually, okay. So, so I'm gonna do the loosest first. It already feels so tight. This is on the loosest? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> okay, so this is the tightest. No, 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 this isn't the tightest. Oh my god, I already feel so tight. Should I try the tightest now? <laughs> I think it will work because you need to inch your way in. Ow. This is actually <laughs> I'm scared because what if you combust? <laughs> no, that's scary. I don't like corsets because it reminds me so much of like toddler and tears and I hate that energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like it feels like I'm like forcing someone like, don't eat. <laughs> that's what it gives the vibe of to me. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I for sure could do the tightest on the whole back, but it's just because it's so uh, condensed. <laughs> but you- Trying to make your friend feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing it, well, not being in it, I thought, oh my god, no wonder why girls wear this, but I wouldn't want to actually feel like this all day. I feel like I wouldn't be able to eat anything because I would feel like my stomach getting oh bigger. My, and I probably think I had anxiety because I can't take a full breath in. Yeah, but looking at myself in the viewfinder, it didn't even cinch anything. Wow. Like, I, I actually thought it was going to be a thing like this, like... Ring my bell. I got these shorts from Spirit Halloween that are sequenced. I kind of want to just make up my own outfit. You could put these on and like, let's just see, let's make up a character. Now what the vibe is. Yeah. Actually, it's giving. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to think, what would Spirit <laughs> Halloween call this? Devil girl. <laughs> right, because the red? <gasps> oh, <laughs> devil disco queen. Uh, how would be it? No, in the, in the Spirit Halloween thing, it'd be like this. And like have like, maybe maybe devil bartender. Have some drinks in your hand. <gasps> oh, that'd be good. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> Ring my bell. They had a bunch of prosthetic stuff like to put, make your skin look like it's bleeding or something. But we got elf ales and what's that? Just a bloody eye. Can you see still? I actually can. Oh my god, perfect. Okay, the first part of this eye mask thing is being applied. And does it, it seems like it's working, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Not really, actually. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> this actually does, does look creepy. It feels like I'm like stuck inside of like a chamber. Oh my god. Boo! That's actually creepy. This would be like a, someone that just came out of a cave that still has some elf ancestry in their DNA. Yeah, oh my god, it does give that vibe. Like in some weird European country, like they found out there was this weird species in a cave and this would be it. Aren't there like a lot of elf people nowadays? Like I know Grimes is one. Yeah, I think it seems like there's an elf obsession. Like I didn't know about it until a year ago though. 
Oh my god, that's a vibe. Can you still hear and everything? Yeah, it just sounds a little bit like, uh, I don't know, it sounds different though. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna check my storage room because I keep hearing a weird noise in here. Okay. What is that? <laughs> Please be friends with me. Oh I'm from god. another universe where no one wants to be friends with me because everyone hates me because I'm different. Oh my god, what is that? Ah! That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we found out what the deal is with Spirit Halloween today. And the deal is, is that it's just a heck of a fun place. I know, it really is so fun and scary. Thank you Spirit Halloween for allowing all of us to live our Halloween fantasy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>